Hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. You look at somebody else, what they can do, that's fine for what you can do, but you measure yourself against you yeah. and you get better. So if you do, in shape is not necessarily this arbitrary out there, but mm -hmm. in shape, you can do 10 now, you work to do 11, and then you work to do 12, and, and you this progress works every the day. the stomach. Hey, that works the stomach. You want to get your stomach, work the stomach. How do you yes. get rid of a tire right push here, away, Sam? Push away. Push away. Push away from the table. Push away ah! from the table. They put it in front of you, over put it in front of you, push it away. Put it in front of you, push it away. Okay. Eat whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Take care of yourself. Drink. I know. Drink you your came water. In drink with your that water. Drink your water. water. And you know, I'm not crazy about water, but I do love a diet soda, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Well, let's see. You so can, do you so, eventually get a taste for water? I know Bobby drinks a yes, gallon every yeah, day. Right, yeah, exactly. Because one of the things is what well, water does so much stuff for you, right? Mm -hmm. Hydration, right. keeps you like energy and all that kind of, But you need to get the water, that's the most important. People water and take your rest and sleep. Uh -huh. and yes, and get your, uh, yes, and get it in for, yes. I'm gonna be doing yes, this when y'all. Yes, 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 and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. And yes, and yes, we having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I hope that Sam's been some help to y'all oh, today. This is so good. Because I know I ain't going to the gym, <laughs> y'all. I ain't going to the gym. Jack and Matthew like to um, make books. Like, Jack's created a character, Blue Squid. Blue Squid. So he'll sit down he and he'll made. write a book. He may so be out in stores. Squid. Blue Squid may be out in stores by the time I'm <laughs> 10. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Squid, he wrote his He's first book right when now. he was, how, it's Blue Squid, he started on a couple years ago. No. Is this just mm -hmm. a character that you made up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue Squid. He's a squid that's blue. And when he gets scared, he turns invisible. It's good. No, no, his, he, he when he's happy, yeah. um, he glitters, yeah. but when he's sad, he loses his glitter. Do you want to write this book, son? I've already wrote one. Well, okay, uh, I'll I'll say it a different way. Do you want to publish this book? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell Guinea that you'll refer all inquiries to your agent. Tell your daddy <laughs> that his mother said. I'm not daddy, I'm agent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell talk about your, the signing bonus after. Tell your, your agent that I told him to go blow in the wind. <laughs> Go blow in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting in a hotline so we can do donuts. And then we started doing biscuits now every day. Now, would you need a deep fryer for right. those? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. So we're just like playing around with recipes uh -huh. and stuff right now. But yeah, we're getting a deep fryer. And then I want to start so happy doing to know about that. biscuit. We do biscuits every day now. All right, now you stay in your lane, honey. Okay, all right. That <laughs> <laughs> I do biscuits. I know. <laughs> but not like your biscuits, like little biscuit sandwiches. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's in my lane. Your biscuits? Oh, honey, yeah, and they are good and flaky. Well, do tell. I have mastered. How do you make them? Uh -uh. Don't, don't give away your secrets. <laughs> Rip, now you're talking too much. <laughs> Yeah, they are just really good. Are they good. yeast biscuits or? Um, no, they're butter, butter, butter. You would go butter, crazy, butter, Paula, butter. over these biscuits. Nobody can touch your pralines. Thank you. Nobody. And you know, I can make a pretty good praline at home, but I'd so much rather have yours. Well, you're the only person that I ever gave my recipe to. I don't know if you remember that. I hope you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> well, listen, it's safe because I didn't know I had it. I about got, I about <laughs> got divorced from that. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. You, I, when did you give you me the recipe? You and I did it together one time on TV. And, and uh, I, I don't. <laughs> and I made it, wouldn't give it to everybody else, but I gave it to you. No, <laughs> no, no. Well, see, secrets are safe with me. Yeah, there, I can know the feeling. Because I forget so quickly. Yeah. Golly, yeah. bum, now I'm going to have to go back and watch every show <laughs> to find that show. Well, listen, we got to take a quick break, Stan. And, uh, we going to get to talk sing, some more? We going to sing for our supper. Yeah, we going to talk some more. All right, good. So we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. 
Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Okay, we're back with Adam and me. He brought something to show us, y'all. I have no idea what it is. I know it involves fire because I saw the torch, so Adam... Tell me where to stand, where to be, yes, and what you're doing. So I brought um, actually the chocolate that won us the award for top uh -huh. 10. Oh, good. Um, and so this is our creme brulee truffle. Oh, my gosh. Do I love creme brulee. So. And this is creme brulee chocolate. It is. However, there are sugar crystals on the outside. You see how it's kind of sparkling? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, <laughs> and I'm I don't know where I've got my glass. <laughs> well, it has this oh, little shimmer to it. Oh, I see it. I see it. it. I've got glitter on my face because I've been buying uh, Christmas pillows. So, yeah, it kind of looks like my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so we take these sugar crystals, and uh -huh. um, it actually encapsulates the whole chocolate. And what uh -huh. we end up doing is when you order it at the store, we take this uh -huh. blowtorch. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn these. it on. I love these. It's very dramatic. It's it bringing the is. drama in the theater. It too. is. Whoa! So I'm gonna turn this on. <laughs> and then that Clifford, sugar. Clifford, don't get too. That's on the outside. Don't get too close. Oh my Isn't that gosh. Amazing? It does turn into creme brulee. Exactly. Do you wanna try one? Yes. Okay, ready? All right, do I have to mash that? I don't wanna burn Clifford. And so you wanna do it very close. Oh, real close. Fast. Yep. Whoa, you want Otherwise, it to catch it on fire. Yeah. There we go. All right, can I go a little bit here? Okay, we're good. Okay, and a little so bit more. So the key right is here, to go as fast as possible. A little bit more right here, okay? Okay. Perfect. Wait, I missed that edge. <laughs> okay. You're a pro. <laughs> awesome. Oh, those are beautiful. And y'all, um, all right, so Gus, if you'll lay down, buddy, while I talk uh, to Mr. Stratton, please. Uh, gosh, I could talk to you all day long, yeah. Stratton. So tell me, your father was in a building on Gwinnett Street, yes. right? That was yes. his original yes. location. Yes. And have you owned that building all these oh, years? Oh yes, since 19, since before Okay, so you never sold mm -hmm. it when you went off to no. Hollywood. Okay, and tell everybody what you're doing to that because when people come to town, they can do tours, can't yes, they? Yes, of course. Tours of manufacturing as well as what we have on Gwinnett. Wonderful. What, what we're gonna do is um, redo Gwinnett and Habersham as it was in the 1940s. It was a high school hangout, so we'll have less was of Was it yeah, really? It was for BC primarily, but yes, it was a hangout. So I didn't it, know was, that. it was the malt shop that you expect you see in the movies. Yes. So what we're going to do there, decor wise, is do less of the movie things and do more of, of the period high school things in Savannah. And of course, being an inveterate pack rat, I have my letter jacket, I have all no. this stuff, oh yeah. I've got my cheerleading outfit. Bring it over, <laughs> bring it over. Do a... I do a cheer. There you go. It's gonna well, be fun. Well, that's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like stepping back in time. Mm -hmm. exactly. Well, I promised everybody that uh, we would share some crazy St. Patrick's Day stories. And I bet you've got plenty. Yes, but this may well be a PG-rated program. <laughs> <laughs> well, do tell, right, y'all? <laughs> well, you know, I remember... Tell us one. I remember one, a once in Paris Day, and this is not really uh, untoward, I think. There was a, a young girl who came in, and we were playing, and Kevin Barry's, there are several musicians, three or four musicians, mm -hmm. and we play on two stages all the way through. And there's bands who come in from, from Dublin, and bands who come in from Boston, pipe bands and all over. And I, at the, for whatever reason at the time, I was younger, still had pigmentation in the hair, <laughs> right? And I was wearing... Oh, your hair is still beautiful. It's thick. Well, it's, it just turned gray. It could have turned loose, Harry. I know. It's great to be... It's great to have to go to a barber. <laughs> <laughs> One of the joys in life when you get to my age. 
But this girl came in and she was, she was um, very enthusiastic, it would seem. And I, wore, I had a snap cap, you know, the Irish uh -huh. snap cap uh -huh. at the time. And all the way through the day I was playing music with a snap. She wanted the snap cap. And I said, no, it's, it's, it's not available. And she said, I will do anything for the snap cap. And I said, it's not available. She said, you don't understand. I will do anything for the snap cap. And I said, it's still not available. So she, she decided to give us all a sample by, by raising her shirt. Uh -huh. and showing us her piercings. Oh no, they were pierced. Well, there was piercings. I just, oh. there were piercings. <laughs> anyway, suffice to say, she didn't get the snap cap. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the mild one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder but, why she wanted that snap cap so bad. Oh, I don't know. I just, we just cut off the conversation. Uh-huh. You know. My wife was running the place at the time, which may have been a deterrent. Yes, yes. I bet. But, uh, I, I but it's great fun. It's great fun. It is. I'm telling you, you meet so many um, fun people. This is our dog Coco. Hey, Ricky. She's very. Dirty. This is. She's let me tell you. Let me tell you the story about this dog. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I, my wife asked me for a dog a couple of uh, a couple of years ago, and I really, really, really didn't want to get a dog. And I said. Let me look into dogs and um, kind of on my own, I didn't tell you that I was doing it. I was like, let me look into dogs and see what kind of dog we can have. So, I didn't want a dog that was going to shed. No, wait, wait. Or I wanted a huge lab that sheds a lot. Yes. Three. She, yes, and she wanted them in the house and in the bed and just everywhere. In a lab pool. is completely uncontrollable. They will do whatever they would like to do whenever they would like to do it. So. I said, let me look into dogs a little bit. And so I started investigating. And here's what I found. If you would like a dog that does not shed, that does not smell, that does not want to get in the pool or the pond or the marsh or get the a lake stuffed or animal. whatever you live in. Get a stuffed animal. Get a Havanese. No, get a stuffed animal. No, get a Havanese. What are you talking about? Get a Havanese. <laughs> They're hypoallergenic. They don't shed. They don't smell. And they don't. Here's why. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. I didn't want dog hair in the bed. We're still gonna go to a shelter and rescue one. No, we're not. Yes, we, I didn't want dog hair in the bed, and we are really fortunate to have a beautiful pool at the house, and I didn't, all I could think about was here's this big old lab swimming in the pool all the time, and I would hate that. I did not People want People are gonna think you're really peaking. So we got, so we got, so we got to have an ease, <laughs> and I gave it to Cloud as a gift last Christmas, and um, little did I know that I was going to fall in love with the dog. So our dog, Coco, owns my heart. She's amazing. And, um, and we're still going to go to the really, human society. And we're really, we got really lucky. We had a happy accident. And get another dog. In like February, um, we have this pool. And I was like, man, I don't want a dog that wants to get in the pool. How lucky were we that Coco fell in the pool in February? Um, so she discovered that she didn't like the pool or water and cloud had to go in and get her in february in the pool that was two years so ago. coco never ever ever in life wants to get in the pool again so it's perfect she doesn't shed she doesn't stink she doesn't want to get in the pool if you want to know uh where my mom is going to be and what she's going to be doing you can go to pauladine.com and you can look at her uh, schedule. Um, we do the book signings once a month, like I said, here in Savannah. So go to PaulaDean.com and you can find out exactly where mom's going to be and what she's going to be doing. And if you uh, want to come to the Savannah and, and go to a book signing, you can do that too. So this has been another episode of What's Cooking with Paula Dean. So thanks for watching and listening. And we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs> so natural. I love saying that. <laughs> Mucho gusto, y'all. Hey, <laughs>